hi guys and welcome back. Here we got Sam. Sam is a lovely, lovely dapple gray. My mom calls him a <laughs> Um, We got him from the mirror. You can, I don't know if you can see, but on the box is actually a little horse box trailer. You can see all around. Pretend the reins are not droopy. In real life, you wouldn't want that because a horse might step on it, but there's no other horses here. So you can see, oh, the cat's gone, yay. Um, so you can see the Lemire logo here. It's a UK um, like horse tack unit brand thing. Um, but today, I'm gonna tell you the basics of how to groom a horse. So we have, oh yeah, also the tack is so realistic. I'll give you a quick round of about the tack. But we have the grooming kit. So it's actually really easy to make his horse box into a really pretty staple. So you can just, just pop this off. You can lift this ginormous platform and you can, I'll turn it this way so then you can see. And then you can open that. Oof. Voila! And it's that simple just to make your mini of the mirror's pony stable come true. Now I like to quickly change up the little See Sam here. Um, I don't know if you can see it from that view, but you can see his dapple, and you can maybe tell why my mom calls him a blue crow. But oh yeah, we did a did I read, sorry if I already mentioned this that we did a TikTok video, not TikTok like kind of TikTok introduction of Sam. So go check that out. Um, because it is a very helpful so then it's like kind of if you watch that already you kind of know who Sam is um, he's very 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 soft I love his mane and you can see butt has some lovely lovely stitching on its butt um, but he's actually really 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 big <laughs> bigger than we thought in the pictures um, you can see going to the potty but you can see these like wraps they just wrap around like you probably can't see I'll show you in a minute but they just wrap around so easily and you can just easily take them off you're thinking about putting tack on my cat I don't think that'll go so well because you might scratch the materials um, we have the lovely saddle and saddle pad that stay clean permanently um this color, I love how Namir names their like saddle pads, different colors, and they just sound so yummy. I want to eat them for some reason, if that makes sense. Um, we have a lovely, yeah, this color is called the ink, ink blue. It's almost like a navy, but it's a little bit more purple than navy, I want to say. Um, but it's the same material as an ape on it. If you don't know what an ape on it is, it goes on their ears. It has a real bit and like a real everything. We have his lovely, lovely blanket I'll put on at the end of the video. Um, we have the girth, saddle, and the grooming kit. And the grooming supplies are so detailed. We have a soft, spongy, bungee sponge. And the tack is so realistic. This is what I like to really put in the hook. Oh yeah, the hook. I can't believe they have a real hook pick. It's just, it's like a real life hook pick. And this is my hand. It's like big as my hand. And you can like pick the horse's hoof with this extraordinary hook pick. We have a rubber curry comb, which I can fit two fingers. Um, we have this is a soft brush in some places they call it body brush, goat brush sometimes because it's usually made with goat hair. 
for it to brush their legs because it's already soft. I can even like brush my. You can. Some people you like using these to like clean their saddles. I mean not saddles, saddle pads. You have the main brush, and usually you wouldn't use this type of hair brush. You usually use the like big ones. You don't use these ones because it can pull a lot of hair. Um, this one's the hard brush at some places, they call it dandy brush. This one's really hard, way harder than this, so you cannot use this on the face or legs because their face and hands are, and legs are very sensitive. Um, this one's to flick the excess dirt off. And that is it um, from this lovely Amira from Kit. So yeah, now we can finally do the basics of how to groom a horse. We always, 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 always start with a curry comb because sometimes they have shavings and you don't want to just use any kind of brush to brush the shavings shavings because especially made for a curry comb is you do curls for it. But I did realize in England or like in UK, they use the main brush first. But over here, um, we always use the curry comb first. So we would just do curl, we can lift your mane up, especially because it's really long, but we can just pretend he's really, really muddy and he's not soft, basically. And we can just go in swirls and swirls and swirls. Make sure you wanna brush both sides. This one you cannot use for the main face. There is such thing as a face brush, but it's just not in this kit. Next, we always use the hard brush as a dandy brush. Um, this one is to flick the excess dirt off. So you can just give him a nice, nice groom. Like I said, these are really hard. You wouldn't want to use this for like his bed or anything because that wouldn't feel so well for the horse. Next, we will have a soft brush, and the soft brush has this long hoop. Wait a minute. This actually might be the dandy brush because usually dandy brushes have hook. Yeah, that's a little tip. If you don't know which one's the dandy brush and which one's the soft brush, you can always feel them or see if it has a hook. But this one, we can go in the legs. I'm just holding the legs. Oh yeah, and they stand really well. Like I can give them a little bit jiggle on the button. It's not going anywhere. Um, And also brush the growth areas because it might be very sweaty. If you're bathing your horse, and this is the time to bath your horse right now. Um, a lot of horses don't like water going near the eyes, so a sponge is a real need if you have a horse. Of course, we don't have a horse right now. We just have this great, lovely example here. I actually have on my TikTok, I have some real horses when I was falling off and it was really crazy. Um, but this one we can brush with the mane. You can do any else with this. You can only brush the mane and tail with this one or the forelock so you don't have any knots in your hair. Hopefully not because I brush you every day. In, in horse tail, you would usually want to separate the piece and grab on separately and you wouldn't just want to do how I do with the mane. You want to section it out and start from the top there, but not on the tear but tail bone. This one doesn't have one. Actually actually does, but it's not real. The last but not least is the hoof pick. The reason why we do it last is because if you do the hoof pick first and it steps in something else, you have to do it again, basically. But I can't actually lift the horse's hook for this one. But what you would basically do is you would start from here, drive down and push it on the shoulder because then it will want to move. And then I'll lift this leg up. And then you can pick it up. Uh, or sometimes if it has like, if it's a draft, it usually will have some hair and you can pull that hair. Um, but yeah, and you want to hold it the hook pick like this, not like how you would write, 
because that wouldn't put so much pressure. Don't worry if you go so hard. It's the same thing that way your hair and your nails are made, so it wouldn't hurt much. Here's the cows talking about. Um, so it wouldn't hurt so much. You don't need to try like, you can try really hard, but beware. Because when you lift, lift up the hoof, there's a pointy part that's like a V shape. And you cannot, never, 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 never even touch that part. Because that is the most sensitive part. And that's the thing that connects it to its leg. And it is called a frog. But you do sometimes, so pretend this is the hoof. And this is the frog of it. You want to get like the side of the frog. Because if you don't clean that up, it goes all the way up to its legs. And that could be bad for the horse. That's why it's super important to pick out the horse's foot. Sometimes in the hoof, there's a little brush and you can use the brush to brush the little rascal, rascally pieces off the hoof. So yeah, that is gonna be the end of the video today and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!